YouTube, what's happening? It is Thursday. We have college football to talk about in this video. I'm going to cover the Thursday games and the Friday games all in one video because that's six total games. That's good for a video. The Saturday games will come out on Friday early. So that way you have all day to watch it because it's going to be a fairly long video because I'm going to break down the rest of the games all in that video. So here we're going to look at all the games. We're going to look at the stats. We're going to look at who they played to see what the stats make any sense. Did you play cupcakes or did you actually have a hard schedule? So We'll look at spreads, money lines. We don't do college props here because I'm in Florida and you can't bet on college props in Florida. They just don't let you. And a bunch of states don't let you do college props anyway. So if you want those, you got other videos you can check out. Outlier has props out there, but I just, I don't cover them because a bunch of people can't bet them anyway. So sorry for that. So let's go ahead and jump to the first game. We have Texas State and Troy. Let's go on over to the Outlier so we can see what the odds are. We see Texas State is minus 13 and a half with a 57 total out there. Okay, not bad. Let's look over at the numbers, see what they've been up to. We can see Troy's one and four. Seeing Troy this bad is weird. They are struggling. Usually Troy's pretty good, but not this year. Uh, look at all these red numbers. Oh, ooh, a lot of catch up on the screen. Texas State, they've been pretty good. Now ESPN bet, that's where this number comes from. That's 14, but it looks like DraftKings, you can get a better number and FanDuel. You can get better numbers there, both of them, so. Uh, let's see. Offensively, you can see Texas State's been pretty decent. They're 26 in passing, 37 in total yards, 22nd in points. The running is not the best, but it is mid. It is yellow, orange, whatever we want to call it. That means they're in the middle group. So Troy's offense is just terrible. 109, 99th in passing, 88 in running. They can't do anything very well. 104 yards. They're both bad at turnovers. They're both turnover margin has been the negatives. That's not where you want to be. You don't want to be in the negatives. Troy's third down offense, when they have third down, which I'm assuming is a bunch, is actually pretty decent. So, huh, uh, looking at the defense, which one is going to get exploited the most? Troy's run defense is 101, but Texas State's only 71st in running the ball. Pass defense is actually 45th, which is, okay, it's a little worse, but I'm still, I'm leaning Texas State. Now, do I lean them by 14, though, is the question. That's a big number, and it's on the road, and it's a Thursday, so... Troy has a bye week coming up. Texas State has Arkansas State. They just lost to Sam Houston in a absolute, I believe they choked that away. Sam Houston stormed back and took the win there. And Troy lost to General Booty. How do you lose General Booty? Like, come on, come on. So let's look a little closer at those schedules. Let's see, we want Texas State. Um, they beat Lamar barely. They beat the hell out of UTSA. They lost to Arizona State, and which was a three-point spread, and then they lost to Sam Houston on the comeback. So, and we look at Troy's schedule: Nevada, Memphis, Iowa. Troy's not had an easy schedule at all. Famu, they beat 34-12, and then General Booty gotcha. So, yeah, okay, we see all that. All right, so for this one, I am going to be taking um, based on this one. I'm going to take, of all things, I see both teams like to give up points. That is obvious. Offense is good here. 57 half seems high. I don't like the total here. So I think, yeah, I'm going to take Texas State. I just think this offensive numbers are going to be too good compared to Troy, who has just not done well on offense. I don't see them keeping up at all. If you struggle with Monroe, Texas State should get you. So give me Texas State minus 13 and a half in this one. And let's move on to that next one, which is going to be... It's going to be Sam Houston and UTEP. And we have Sam Houston nine and a half with a 50 and a half total. Ooh, okay, interesting. Let's look at the numbers. So all we got to do is go Troy and we want UTEP. Oh, load that bad boy up. Okay, love Google Sheets. Sometimes when you get it working right, it works, works great. So 10 and a half, 49 and a half total. Um, yeah, so these are ESPN numbers. You can get better totals elsewhere. Always have multiple books. If you have one book, you're doing it wrong. So first off, we see a lot of SH logos because UTEP is 0-4. They're off a of bye, though. That's a big thing, off a of bye. Sam Houston just beat Texas State on the storm back. We just talked about it. So, And next week, they have a bye. So let's look into their actual team first before we jump to the numbers. So Sam Houston beat Rice. Uh, they lost to Central Florida. That's fine. You beat Hawaii, you beat New Mexico State, and you beat Texas State in the Stormback. So good job, good job. UTEP is 0-4 to Nebraska. You lost to Southern Utah in overtime. What the hell? You lost to Liberty, and you lost to Colorado State. Okay, those doesn't make sense, but Southern Utah at home? What is this? What is... Uh, mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm already seeing what I like. I like Sam Houston. Now, I am concerned that this both these games are on the road. That concerns me. But 
the better team at the 0-4 team, 10-point spread. The main thing I'm seeing here is 19th in rushing. That's what Sam Houston's good at. They're good at running the ball. They can't throw the ball with the piss, but they can run the ball. And UTEP can't stop the run. <laughs> 128 for 223. They're good at stopping the pass, which that doesn't bother me with Sam Houston because they can't throw the damn ball. So you can stop. You can run. You can't stop it. That's the main thing we're going to exploit. You can throw somewhat, and your middle, your defense is literally 60s all over the place. So you're pretty decent on defense. You're not good, but you're decent. Is what we want here because that matches up with that. That's good. This is going to get ugly when it comes to running this they might run for three four hundred tonight they just might so that being said under is definitely in play and sam houston minus ten and a half is in play because actually lies that's espn's number we pop over here i got nine and a half sam houston at there you go so uh, that's what i'm gonna take i'm gonna take sam houston nine and a half um I'm not taking a total. I lean under. I'll say that. I lean the under, but I'm going to pass on that. So now let's move on to Friday. Friday schedule. Let's pop over here and actually pull up the schedules. Let's see. Jack State, Kennesaw State, Houston, TCU, Michigan State, Oregon. Big game. Big game. And Syracuse at the ranked UNLV. Man, that's fun to see. So let me close off these games and let's go ahead and open up some of these games so we can see their schedules because we obviously want to see who have you played, what have you done. Have you had cupcakes or have you been working out with some hard games? So, first up, we are going to do Jacksonville State and Kennesaw. Uh, and it is looking as Jacksonville State 16 and a half with a 48 and a half total. Is Kennesaw that bad? Is Kennesaw really that bad? Mm, we're about to find out. So, uh, let's dig into it. So, mm, first thing, Jacksonville State, we want your schedule. Hmm, okay. Coastal Carolina, we, I've watched that whole game. That was hilariously bad defense. Uh, Louisville got you. You lost to Eastern Michigan in double overtime, but then you beat the living hell out of Southern Miss of all teams. Like, what? Like, all right, cool. Uh, you showed life. Good job. Now in Kennesaw, what have you been up to? That picture. Ah, Florida State. <laughs> uh, let's see. UTSA, you had a close game. Louisiana, 24 points. San Jose, 21 points. You, you lost to UT Martin. What? Hmm, okay. That's bad. That's a bad loss. Because let's look at UT Martin. How bad are you? You're two and three. Look at look at these numbers. Yeah. You lost to Southeast Missouri State. You lost oh my. Okay. Yeah. I see why Jacksonville State is such a big favorite now. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the numbers. Let's look at them. We want to go over to Kennesaw. Okay. We do, Kennesaw's numbers on defense are better because Jacksonville State is absolute dog shit when it comes to defense. Look at these numbers, it's terrible. Uh, terrible defense. The only good thing you're good at is stopping the run somewhat. And Jacksonville State is going to do a mix of run and throw, but their third down percentage is, how are you so 60s on everything, but then 129th when it comes to third down percent on offense? What? You're 31st in turnovers, so somehow you're, you're getting turnovers. Offense here is trash. This game is garbage overall. Let's just be honest here. Um, just, I can't. I can't take that. I couldn't even make a lean in this one. Their offense looks decent. Their defense is bad. But do I want to take 16 and a half points to a team that just lost by 11 to Kennesaw? But it is a home again. I don't want to take all road teams. That feels weird. And all favorites. Oh, if anything, yeah. We're going to pass. I got a full on pass. I just can't. Mm -mm. I wouldn't bet this game with your money. And that's, no, I couldn't do that. So <laughs> pass on this shit show. We're going to the next game. Sorry. Cannot do it. Next up, we have Houston and TCU. Okay, decent game. TCU is favored by 16 and a half, it looks like. Okay, let's pop over here to the numbers. Um, let's we'll see. Cool. Three and two, one and four, 16 and a half. That's a lot of, they are the worst scoring team in the country. Houston is at 10.4 a game. That's, there's no, 134 is as low, high as it goes. You can't get any worse. So, mm. defensively, see, what are you good at? Nothing. Your best thing is running and it's still one-on-one. -on -one. TCU, 16 half at home. This should be a bloodbath. Fourth in passing. Houston's defense is 11th in pass defense. So they kind of cancel out. TCU can't run the ball worth a damn, but they're kind of decent and run the top of the run. So, but... Yeah, uh, I think mainly because of this and this number, I might. It's looks like I might take an under, but let's look over here. Let's get rid of these games. Let's go to Houston. Let's go to TCU. Let's look at their schedules. Houston, 
uh, UNLV, Oklahoma, Rice, Cincinnati. You, you've been shut out back to back to Cincinnati and Iowa State. Okay. But you're not giving up many points. Now, I would say it's not going to score many points anyways. It's in the state of Iowa. Points, they're allergic to points in that state. Cincy, that was a blowout. TCU, what have you done? You beat Kansas, Samu. Your defense is terrible. But I think this is going to be, if anything, let me get a team total TCU. That's what I might take. Nope. Now nah, we'll just, yeah, we're just going to rock TCU minus 16 and a half. TCU minus 16, that's a good number. That's right, but 17 is a key number, so that's great. We'll take TCU. Let's move on. I don't lean a side, a total. I just don't. So let's keep it moving. Mm, next up, we have, um, okay, so it's going straight to Syracuse and UNLV. That's fine. We can jump to that. We'll leave Oregon for last. Uh, we have UNLV six and a half with a 58 and a half. Not a problem. Let's pop over to the numbers. Let's see. UNLV, Syracuse. This is Syracuse's first row game, apparently. Good to know. Okay. TCU. Houston, go away. We want some Michigan. Nope, nope, nope. We want Syracuse. And we want UNLV. We open these things up. Look at their schedule. See what we've done. UNLV, Houston, good win. Utah Tech, a lot. Kansas by three. And Fresno by, uh, by 45. Damn. Is Fresno that bad? They might be. So, all right. Uh, Syracuse, what have you been up to? You beat Ohio. Remember that? We beat, did beat Georgia Tech. You lost to Stanford. What? And Holy Cross. Okay, cool. Okay. So we come back here. What? Who is good at what? That's what we want to see. We want to exploit matchups where possible. Syracuse is third in passing. Uh, McCord is tossing that tater, is he not? And that is the one thing UNLV is sucks at. Their defense sucks in the secondary. They 226. So McCord should be able to throw the ball at will as much as he wants. The hell with trying to run the ball, Syracuse. If you if your Syracuse tries to run, you're going to lose. Just throw it because UNLV cannot stop it. 88. They're good. At, they're good at defense on the run. They're good at points, but they give up the pass. So that's that's Syracuse points all day. UNLV cannot throw. Syracuse is all over the place. Well, they're all 60s when it comes to defense. UNLV is good at running. They should be able to get some yards, some points off of the run, but I don't see them getting anything thrown because they can't throw. But that was with the old quarterback. Now we have the new quarterback, which, how did he do last week? That's a question. How did he throw? Uh, let me open up. Let's go open the damn box score. Here we go. Let's just, let's go look at a box score. Play by play, box score. There we go. Uh, let's see. You went 13 of 16 for 182 for three touchdowns. I mean, that's better than what you have, but still. This line still isn't the best, let's be honest. 182 on 13 completions, it could be better. It could be. But it was Fresno. They had a big lead. They were up 21 nothing at halftime. Yeah, okay. Great assault. Great assault first game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. I think I, I'm leaning, I'm leaning Syracuse. I think McCord just shreds this defense today, tonight, I, oh, tomorrow, tomorrow night, Friday night. So, I, mm, six and a half. Can I get a seven? I'm getting seven for this one. I don't care because it's going to be seven at some point. Someone has a seven. If not, I am buying seven. I don't care. I will buy half a point if I have to to guarantee a push probability of a seven point. So I'll do that. So for me, I am taking Syracuse plus seven, mainly because of McCord and this pass versus D. So, all right, let's go to that last game. Last up, we got the ye old Michigan State versus Oregon. Oregon 23 and a half with a 52 and a half. Oregon missed, made me miss an eight game, eight leg parlay because they just stopped playing in the second half. I had the first seven hit last week and Oregon ruined it. I went to sleep thinking, oh, they're already covering at halftime basically. I'm good to go. I need like four points. Nope. Woke up to a loss. I swear. Uh, Mm, football after dark sometimes gets you. So, all right, let's go. Let's go. Oregon at home versus Michigan. That's a lot of O's. That's a lot of O's. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can get rid of that, that, that. Okay. We'll come there, back there in a second. Let's look at their schedules. Well, who's done what? Michigan State, FAU. Okay. Maryland, Prairie View, Boston College in the red bandana game, and then Ohio State. Cool. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. 34 13. They just stopped playing. You know, hilarious. Not really, but uh, Oregon State was a blowout. Boise State was a good game, but we didn't know Boise was this good because of their Heisman running back, apparently. And Idaho is still Idaho who's good. So cool. Let's pop over here. 
do we find anything we can exploit? First thing I see is defensively, they're both pretty good defense. Even the, these are 40s. 40 is the cutoff for yellow for me. 39 is green in my book. Yellow is or orange is 40. So these are top 42. Uh, third down defense is, is kind of concerning. You're 100th in the country at giving up, yard, giving up third downs. That ain't good. So let's see. Michigan State's offense is not good. We just can say that. Let's just be honest with each other. They're just not good. Maybe next year, but not right now. They can't run the ball. They're 132.4 they're, they're game, 97th. They're 104th in points, and their best thing is passing at 61. Oregon is way better in every category, and some of these aren't even. They're just hilariously bad, including 126 on turnovers. That means they're going to throw some interception, which means Oregon should win this game comfortably. Are they going to win by 23 and a half is the question. So... I see both defenses being good. I see their offense sucks and their offense is pretty good, but their defense is good. 52 and a half. This feels high. It feels high to me. It is Friday. So, hmm. Yeah, they only let Ohio State score 38. So their defense is actually pretty decent, but eventually the defense gets wore down because the offense sucks so bad. So I almost want to take the under of 52 and a half because 52 is a key number. That's that's seven touchdowns and a field goal. So I think that's what I'm going to do. If anything, Oregon shuts them out. It's like a 35-7 type game. I love that. So for me, I am going to take the under 52.5 in this one. And we'll call it a day right there because that is, if we go back to the schedule, we look at everything. I believe that's all the games. Yep, that's all six games. And then... If you could see it, there you go. Comes to the six games. Yeah, I covered all six. And then we have a bunch on Saturday. I'll cover in the next video. So I appreciate you watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for more football. Peace.